In America, there's a popular saying, the bigger, the better. But this doesn't necessarily apply to trucks. While American trucks are often larger in size compared to European trucks, the permitted total weight they can carry is significantly lower. Additionally, there are notable differences in engine specifications and overall design. But why is that? Let's look at the five main reasons that American and European truck weight rules are so different. 1. Regulatory Differences Europe Most European countries are a part of the European Union EU, which sets harmonized standards for vehicle weights and dimensions to facilitate cross-border trade and transportation within the single market. The EU Directive 9653EC sets the maximum weight for a 5-axle truck at 40 tons, approximately 88,000 pounds. Certain countries allow higher weights for specific configuration. In Scandinavian countries like Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and Finland, where 80, 90, and even 120 tons is being tested, approximately 264,000 pounds. Now, how does that compare to America? In the US federal regulations under the Federal Highway Administration, FHWA, set the maximum gross vehicle weight, GVW, for trucks operating on the interstate highway system at 80,000 pounds, approximately 36.3 tons. 2. Road Infrastructure European road infrastructure, particularly its highways and major routes, is meticulously designed to accommodate higher weight limits. The roads are constructed with advanced engineering techniques to handle the increased stress and wear caused by heavier vehicles. In contrast, the U.S. boasts a vast and varied road network, encompassing everything from major interstate highways to rural and secondary roads, while the interstate highway system is designed to be robust and capable of handling significant loads. Many other parts of the network, especially rural and secondary roads, were not originally designed to support extremely heavy vehicles. 3. Economic Considerations In Europe, higher permissible weights for trucks can significantly enhance the efficiency of freight transportation. By allowing trucks to carry larger loads, the number of trips required to move the same volume of goods is reduced, leading to lower transportation costs and decreased emissions. Furthermore, European countries characterized by dense urban areas and relatively shorter distances between major economic hubs derive substantial benefits from maximizing load capacities. In contrast, the U.S. transportation network is vast and diverse, encompassing long distances often traversing expansive rural areas, while higher weight limits could theoretically improve freight transportation efficiency by allowing for larger loads and fewer trips, the potential downsides must be carefully considered. The increased weight can lead to more significant wear and tear on roads and bridges, many of which were not designed to support such heavy loads. 4. Logistical Requirements the logistics industry in Europe is highly sophisticated and relies heavily on intermodal transport, which seamlessly integrates road, rail, and waterways. This interconnected system is designed to leverage the strengths of each transport mode, ensuring efficient and flexible freight movement across the continent. The U.S. logistics landscape is characterized by a strong trucking industry complemented by an extensive rail network for long-distance freight support. The federal weight limit of 80,000 pounds for trucks is a critical element in maintaining compatibility and efficiency across different transportation modes. This limit ensures that truck loads are manageable for both road and rail transport, promoting a cohesive and efficient logistics network. 5. Environmental and Safety Considerations in Europe, the environmental and safety considerations surrounding heavier trucks are meticulously managed to align with the continent's stringent policies and goals. Europe's rigorous safety standards and regulations for trucks are designed to mitigate the risks associated with heavier vehicles. These standards include advanced braking systems, stability controls, and stringent driver training requirements. Additionally, trucks in Europe are typically restricted to a maximum speed of 90 km an hour, with many countries imposing even lower speed limits, often not exceeding 80 km an hour. In the United States, the 80,000-pound weight limit for trucks is a critical factor in balancing efficiency with safety. While heavier trucks could theoretically improve fuel efficiency per trip, they also pose significant safety risks. These risks include increased braking distances, reduced maneuverability, and greater wear on safety-critical components such as brakes and tires. 
In the US, trucks are permitted to drive at much higher speeds than in Europe, with some regions allowing speeds up to 115 km an hour, approximately 70 mph. The combination of high speeds and heavy weights significantly increases the stopping distances required, posing substantial safety risk. The significant differences in truck weight regulations between America and Europe stem from a variety of complex factors, including regulatory frameworks, road infrastructure, economic considerations, logistical requirements, and environmental and safety concerns. And that's it for today. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more.